Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Evil. Run! What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I save her myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Hey guys, Nuno here, and welcome to The Witcher third episode of my um, walking through kind of videos um, uh, on the previous videos we've just finished the prologue and now we're starting with the beginning of the game now this game this part of the game is really mm, cool because now you have a little bit more freedom you can do a lot more quests uh, I'm gonna try to follow in here some kind of uh, a walkthrough so you guys can uh, also follow it and try to figure out uh, what to do. Anyways, uh, let's start the game. I know we have a really important uh, battle right now. We have to fight those dogs, those evil dogs. And um, yeah. Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches. The time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. To it, the final age. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of elder blood, of hen Iker, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? 
Okay guys, so we just finished the first battle against, or the first fight against uh, those uh, monsters, dogs, or whatever you want to call it. And now we're talking with this, um, this girl, I do not recall her name, doesn't matter, anyway, so let's just use all the options and see whatever happens. It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Lebiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. Okay. So we already talked with um, Chani. Shani. Uh, what we're gonna do now is get the remains of the monsters. All these monsters. 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 <laughs> and uh, let's also loot. Okay, so there, there's still some messes, some uh, tutorials in here, like the campfires. To lit the campfire, you need a flint. Let's go just grab these these barrels for now. They have important stuff, I guess. Which is loot. No need to rush. There's still some remains in here that I forgot to, to grab. Okay. Alright, so the first thing after looting all these uh, remains and and and, um, and crates is to head into the inn. Hmm. I should hurry. Notice board. Maybe I can find some witches' work. Okay, so you can find work on the notice board. Uh, I would say, uh, and also the the walkthrough that I've been uh, following. It tells me to just ignore for now uh, these quests. Uh, they will be um, used later on, so don't worry about that. So the first thing we're gonna do is enter the inn and uh, talk with the innkeeper. Okay, so as you guys can see, we can uh, meditate in the inns and also store my items. If we talk with the innkeeper, and that's what we're going to, need to do. Let's talk with innkeeper Olaf. I know that I have to go all this way. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. Alright, I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? 
So there's a few options you can talk with him. Just ignore it for now and just store your items. The ones that you think you're not going to be using. So I've already read the book. I already read this book also. Uh, let me just click in here and read the, this formu formula. Um, so I already read it so I can store it. Store this one too. Uh, I can store food. I don't think I need. Um, I will keep the this this kind of beverage like uh, the Vizimian champion. I can keep this one. I can also keep this uh, Rivian Kriak and this dude. I don't really. I don't think I can even pronounce that. Anyways, I will keep those because those are, as you guys can see, weak alcohol and we're gonna need them uh, really, really soon. Um, I can also store the sapphire and... Um, yeah, I can store all the food for now. I can store all these... Greenstone also. Um, okay, everything else I guess I'm gonna keep it. They may be needed. Uh, let me just have the potion in here to swallow. It may be useful to use. And that's it. Okay, so we already stored what we wanted and what we need. Uh, let's just loot a little bit in here this this place there's like a barrel and uh, something like that. I don't think there's anything else in here okay let's go here and let's loot this place also barrel and another barrel great and that's it. Now this is a great place for you guys to make money. It, uh, I think it's um, basically what you do in here is you fight these guys, and you make money. Uh, you bet, right? And uh, if you win, you make the double of the money. You, you, I think you make the money that you bet. I really don't know how it works. I think is you bet. Uh, the best way is to show you guys, pro. Let's start with this guy because this is the weakest one. Want to fight? Got any money? Okay, so we want to fight. So the guy is going to bet five orins. I will probably say I will bet another five orins, and I'm gonna make ten, and I will get probably ten orins if I'm not mistaken. So let's fight. No pain, no gain. We'll see. They're not really hard to defeat, you know, because they're... And there you go, they're really easy to defeat, and this is a good way of making money. In this level, guys, you can always bet the double, that the, va the initial value, and therefore you can make a nice amount of money. Lost again, should've known, here's your gold. Okay, we can now see I had 60 orins and now I have 70. Yeah, I get to 10. So the next guy we can fight is this one. Want a beating stranger? We fight for money. Okay. So this one is asking for a 10. We can go to 20. Always the double. It's good enough. I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. You 
win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. Okay, and there's another one we can fight. I think it's this no one. Challenges. No, maybe it's this one. Yeah. Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. Another one that can go to twenty. I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. You fight like a lass. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. Wanderer, take your coin and leave me be. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, you can fight these three guys and make 15 orins um, really easy. You can do that every day, if I'm not mistaken. Now, let's fight the fat Fred. You can only fight him once. Uh, it's for the quest of fighting, and it gives you a little bit more money and an item if you win, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin. Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? 25 orans. Okay, let's just say that I I'm mean. In. Let's fight. I'm going to kill you, you bastard. <laughs> It's gonna be a little bit harder to fight, but... You win. My reward? Choose two flasks of supreme moonshine and a snack to go with them. A ring or cash. Okay, so you have to choose. Uh, I believe the ring is the best one, the best choice, because it's more valuable than anything else I th in the in the in the, in the pot. The so Never I'll take it. the ring. As you guys can see, I have already 110 uh, orins and a diamond ring that I can probably use it right now in here just for uh, showing off, <laughs> basically. Okay guys, so we already talked with the innkeeper to store the stuff, we already did our boxing matches. The second thing we have to do now is talk with the, dunk, the drunkyard, this guy in here. Is going to if you drink with him is gonna give you a book if you win that's why you need the weak um, the weak booze basically what do you want always give strangers such a warm welcome it's all the same the beast will have us all I'm glad we talked let's celebrate let's have a drink Okay, so in here it talks about the drink contest. Basically, you just have to draw, drag and drop the drinks into this area in here, and your character will drink. Have in mind that the more stronger the the, the booze is, the the worst case will happen to you, and you may knock out and lose this contest. Let's start with the weak one, like the Canadian uh, Stute. Let's go with the Vizian, Viziman champion. This is good. It's really, it's really weak, weak alcohol drinks, and that's that's the goal because 
uh, our opponent is going to be basically drunk. This one is also weak, so let's let's have those. So, out drank you. Strong head you have there. Don't I get a prize for winning? Drank with a merchant recently. Weak headed he was. Take his book. Thanks. All right, so we got the Tome of Fear and Loading, Volume One. Now this book will provide me information on golds and graviers, so this is good. I don't have to buy the book, and it's I think it's worth 200 Orions if you sell it to the guy with the books. I don't remember his name, but that's that's a good amount of money. So yeah, that's cool. I already read it. Now I know a little bit more about ingredients and that stuff uh, we are a little bit drunk so let's just um, I could just go away in here get out and try to sleep outside or just rest in here with the innkeeper um, at least until the afternoon that's the goal we're gonna rest our character in here heal up from the drunk uh, and um, level up because we do have stuff to level up. So let's talk with the innkeeper. What can I do for you? Let's get a room. room. Yes, for you, five orans. And let's rest. Okay, so we have nine bronze talents to use, and this is now <laughs> something I don't know where I'm gonna use. Um, Maybe I should use it on intelligence because you know we could have more monster lore or herbalism or, or even oil preparation. It it does help out. Um, stamina also could be good or dexterity. Um, let me just see. Strength is okay, I guess. I'm gonna use dexterity. Uh, I'm gonna use something on also on my stamina. Uh, intelligence with a bit of monster lore. Um, uh, still swords. I'm gonna use it. Maybe with the bleeding. Why not? Okay, that's it. Now let's meditate till afternoon, which is this one, if I'm not mistaken. 11 hours, and that's basically it. Alright, a new day is on, and let's just get outside. Let's ignore every other character inside the inn. And let's just get outside. And let's talk with this dwarf blacksmith. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Okay. Um, let's talk about weapons. Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. 
Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. Okay, now, this is a good price for the sword, Grease, so I'll pay it. This grease because not only I get the grease, but I also get the formula, so I can create it more times. And that's good. Let's talk a little bit more with the dwarf. Uh, probably not today. But anyways, we did what we wanted and what we really needed. Um, so, now that we have what is needed, let me just grab the... Where is the oil? I know I got it somewhere. Here it is. This is a very good one because it it's it's it make it's like a blade coating. It's okay. Anyways, let's go outside because now it's time to pay a visit to the reverend. Um, there's two paths in here. In fact, we can go. Let me just go a little bit further. Because it's somewhere in here. As you guys can see, there's two paths in here. Uh, I can go over here by the north and go all around to here or I can go this way and this way is probably better because we have a little bit of abandoned houses around here we can go inside and loot them that's what we're going to do okay so let's go and start this There's an abandoned house. Let's visit it. And let's loot everything we can. Okay. And let's do this for all the houses, all the abandoned houses we're going to do. We, I'm going to do this all the way. I'm not going to be talking anymore. I'm not going to be always saying we're going to do this, 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 and this. I'm just saying that... Uh, Right now, I'm going to walk along the way and um, until I visit or until I reach town and talk with the Reverend. Also, along the way, I will probably find a traveler that will bring me and give me a hundred Orions. Um, probably, I will also find some uh, old lady beggar that will ask me uh, for a white goal. I will find pretty much sure a peasant woman that if I give her tulips she will uh, basically make love with my character and therefore I will make I'll get a new card I will also find a woman that won't talk much with us unless I pay her and um, she will then give me info and basically that's the most important anyways you can talk with all these with all these characters in here although it's not much information anyways let's go let's ignore for now the royal huntsman let's talk with this traveler right here in front of us why hello have we met perhaps I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shawnee can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcades. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's 100 orins. Okay, so this is the character we we found out that could pay us 100 uh, orins. Damn squirrels, assaulting convoys like during the war. Okay, there's um, more houses in here to loot. And the barrel. Stupid game. Why 
Ready. I don't talk to strangers. Okay, so this is the old lady that doesn't talk with strangers. If you pay her 20 orange, she will tell you something. That's different. What can I tell you about? Okay, so if I ask her for local herbs, she will tell me information about herbs and if I ask for tales, uh, she will uh, she will give me information for for different tales. I'm I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna choose the the, the herbs. herbs. Hellebore is equally common. Its petals are used to make a tonic for insomnia. So I got a little bit of information over that. Delightful. I hope we meet again. Alvin's a rascal, but I like him. It hurts. My last cow died. The plague hasn't even spared animals. I rarely do this. Abigail sells an ointment for oils. They say abandoned houses became monsters' lairs. Who were abandoned? I barely escaped some creatures last night. Stay away from that witch, Abigail. Leave us be. Later. What was that? Bastard Meekle made another pass at me. Bastard Meekle made another pass at me. Well, that whoring witch has an eye on me. Bastard Meekle made another pass at me. Okay, so we've been uh, 
going on this this place and basically we found all the characters we wanted to the exception of the uh, peasant woman that is willing to make sex with you basically um, I didn't find her but it's not important I will eventually find her and I do need to have tulips before anything else anyways let's go forwards and let's go talk with the reverend Stop! Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Uh, chip. Well, deep. well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. <laughs> that guy was a little bit afraid of me. Um, anyways. Singleton's all around. Let's talk with this tons woman. Someone send you to see Daddy will buy me a new Someone that will be. Uh, there's one that I can talk. I think this one. The man by the temple spoke of Um, probably not. I know there's a, like a tons woman that is all dressed white, and you can buy her tulips or flowers, but none of them. Anyway, let's talk with the reverend. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts. For it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 orans. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. Okay, let's talk about this one. Let's ask him for who, where the salamander I'm shaped pins. I'm looking for men salamander shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel and Haran. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, are a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. Okay, guys, so... We got ourselves uh, the ring, this eternal fire signet ring, let's keep it. We also have a new quest to um, light the fires of the eternal fire shrines and we have to talk with someone else. Anyways, um, I'm gonna stop in here for today because it's already getting too long the video and I don't want to be too long and taking too time so we're gonna stay in here uh, for today and I hope you guys enjoy this I hope you guys um, leave a comment a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon in another episode of the Witcher thank you very much and uh, cheers